Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss uh, Ampere's law in magnetized materials. So here, uh, uh, according to Ampere's law in vacuum, we know that del cross b that is curl of uh, magnetic field is equal to mu naught j so here j is the volume current density but here in uh, magnetized uh, material this uh, current volume current density this is equals to sum of uh, bound current uh, plus uh, free current so therefore we can write uh, above equations like this that is uh, curl of uh, magnetic field equals to mu naught jb that is bound current plus uh, free current further this uh, is equals to this jb we can write this is equals to del cross uh, m plus uh, free current why it is so because this bound current uh, this is equals to del cross uh, m okay So, uh, next point uh, here is, or uh, we can write this uh, del cross uh, B here, or we can write uh, questions like this that is 1 over mu naught del cross B. Here we divide uh, the above equation by mu naught then this is equals to del cross uh, m plus uh, f j f then uh, or we can write del cross 1 over mu naught uh, b minus uh, m and this is equals to jf that is free current so here or we can write del cross uh, h equals to jf so here uh, this is uh, known as ampere's uh, law in magnetized material okay and uh, here h is equals to 1 over mu naught b minus m actually this h is known as auxiliary field this is the auxiliary field okay so here h is equals to 1 over mu naught b minus m and this question that is del cross h is equals to jf this is ampere's law in magnetized material this is in differential form now here uh, we can write uh, this equation in integral form also so for this uh, we can write h dot uh, dl and uh, this is equals to i 
have enclosed so this is the ampere's law in integral form so here uh, i f enclosed is the total free current passing through amperian loop so here in integral form according to ampere's law the line integral of auxiliary field is equals to total free current passing through amperian loop so here a uh, in continuation of uh, this we will discuss deceptive a deceptive parallel of uh, auxiliary field deceptive parallel mean misleading parallel so here uh, as we discussed according to ampere's law in vacuum the curl of uh, magnetic field is equals to mu not j and uh, curl of uh, auxiliary field is equals to jf okay suppose uh, we multiply the this uh, second question uh, suppose this is first question this is second question with mu not then we can write del cross uh, mu not uh, h uh, and this is equals to mu not jf even we multiply the second question with mu not even then this third question is not equals to first question why it's not so because here mu not j h is not equals to b and this uh, tot free current is not equals to total current so these two are the misleading parallels then next point here is the boundary conditions so here in case of a auxiliary field auxiliary field above perpendicular minus auxiliary field uh, below perpendicular is equals to minus uh, m uh, that is magnetization above perpendicular minus uh, m uh, below perpendicular and uh, in case of a parallel h above parallel minus h below parallel is equals to kf cross n cap so here uh, this kf is the surface current density for free current okay so in summary here in this lecture we discussed the ampere's law in magnetized uh, material and then we discuss the deceptive parallels and uh, boundary conditions for the auxiliary field h okay